guys, welcome to Archlands. We are here with Tower of Shadows, a new, hopefully a new and permanent event um, for the game. And I'd like to explain a couple of things in detail so that you guys will have an easy progression on how to clear um, this stage and um, what are the important you know, rewards that you are to expect. So first and foremost, Tower of uh, Shadows um, does not give you guys experience, okay, for your roster, for your account. Um, it's purely farming for, for rewards, okay? And also, there is no energy required. So that is, uh, you know, some of the important things that you should know. And also for the shop, um, I think the, the most important... Um, you know, items that you should consider getting first are this one, the key to heaven, possibly the key to divine protection for your for your gear, and also the rest are very generic rewards. But this one, the cross, is actually very good. These are for your healers, and this is a complete set. So one to six is here. And this one as well, if you want to consider this for your mages, this is going to be good as well. But priority will be for your healers, guys. So take note of these. Again, those are the rewards for the store that I think you should uh, consider. And also, I just want to point out that in the achievement, please take note that you have diamonds here or uh, yeah diamonds that you should also farm in achieving these so make sure that you monitor these and get these rewards okay going to the meat of uh, the discussion we have two stages here we have daily content and challenge content first is we are going to be talking about the daily content so your daily content is 13 stages all in all Okay, then this resets daily. Take note. Uh, tomorrow, you'll be challenging, uh, challenging this again. Uh, what, you're beginning, what are you getting from here? So this is technically the currency from the store that I mentioned a while ago that you should farm because these will buy you the items that we mentioned there. Also available in this one is this currency. This one is Stone Pieces of Memory. This will open you buffs in the challenge mode. Okay, when you farm these, these will, you know, pay for the buffs. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later, but, but just uh, put this into memory so that you won't forget. So, this currency buys you buffs in the challenge stage. So, you open this every day up to uh, 13. So, how do you go to 13? Um... Let's uh, deactivate these buffs first. So buffs and deactivate these. Okay. So buffs don't earn you the zeros here. Um, so these are your total score. So more or less the zeros here are your buffs. Okay. So your buffs choose wisely which ones do you which ones do you what they call this you need. Um, especially if uh, you don't need some of these buffs, uh, depending on, on the characters that you have, then don't use them because you're only allowed to use four. You can't use more than four. Okay, considering that if you don't use buffs, it's okay, but preferably use buffs because there's no expense in using buffs. The debuffs actually take you to a level where you want to go. So if you, you click on this debuff, it's going to put you at stage three in which if you're going to clear stage three you're also going to be getting uh the rewards for stage one so that that's how quick it is so let's say for example if we go to stage five if you play stage stage five and you haven't played three and one then you get also the rewards for all one two three stages the rewards are at one three and five so take note that if you for example decide to go straight to stage 13 without playing all of the previous stages you are still going to get all of the prizes 
before the 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 stages before 13. So you could actually play this in one go if you're confident enough that you can clear the stage. Then be my guest, go up to 13, then clear to 13, then you'll get all of the prices down below from 13 down to 1. That is how this stage works. Okay? So I'm I hope I'm I'm clear on that. So again, we'll have to to clear this one so that is your daily challenge so every day you should grind this um the total score is going to be um what do you call this going to be up there once you are once you have clicked on the buffs so the buffs have a corresponding number to them in which uh corresponds to points and also to going up the tower okay so that is your daily content for your challenge content, as you you know, as you um, noticed earlier, I I mentioned the currency for this one. The currency that uh, that that you can farm in the daily content is going to be used here. So you can you can actually unlock these buffs by playing the daily content, and also if you reach if you earn twenty points. Without using buffs, you can actually unlock this already. These two. So 20 and 20. Okay. So earn 20 points without using buffs. Unlock. Then another unlock. For another 20 points, I think. So that is going to be the basic of your um, unlocking of buffs for the challenge uh, challenge content take note as well that you have two levels you have level 25 this level is for those who are you know of, of, of lower level right now who haven't start who didn't start the game uh, December 7 so I assume that you guys are at level 30 probably so you can join this this has level 25 or lower uh, enemies so you can really challenge this stage for level 45 again there are a lot of things to unlock here as you can see and a lot of points so that you can open other buffs so this is going to be a slow grind guys don't rush this because this one is going to take you a while to open and to be able to qualify so for level 25 the tower goes up to 230 take note of that it's only up to 30 while at level 45 the tower goes up beyond beyond 30 so the rewards are are more for your level 45 up but um this one once you reach 50, rewards are going to be scarce. It's going to be gold. I don't know why, but they should have more or less given us better rewards than this. So the rewards again, um, level 25, the tower is up to level 30. And for level 45, it goes beyond 30. But take note, if at level 25, for example, you already cleared up to 5, when you click to level 45, it's also cleared. It's the same reward. So basically, the rewards from level 25 and 45 up to tower 30. Sorry, up to tower 30 is going to be the same. So as you can see here, it's going to be the same. Rewards from from level from tower level 30 below is the same for level 25 and 45 so take note so i i highly advise that you guys play um level 25 and clear up to level 30 then once you're here you can switch if you can you know um compete with level 45 you switch here then level 31 onwards you play here got it so it's it's much an it's it's a much easier farming when when you start from here so i guess everybody's going to be happy to reach level level 30 you're going to be getting a lot of rewards here this one looks good although i think this is random um yes you have key to heaven as well 
So very, very, um, actually these are few rewards. Again, um, you ha really have to reach level 45, uh, level 45 uh, to be able to get more rewards moving forward. So again, tower, tower 30 is the max for 25. Once you're finished with tower 30, move to level to level 45 to be able to clear tower 31 onwards. Okay, so I hope that clears it up. So again, um, this one, just want to remind you guys, the S here is uh, earned points. So if you've earned um, points, um, these are debuff points, as you can see. If you've earned enough debuff points, then they will unlock. These buffs would unlock. So that is the challenge that you have to uh, confront when you are at the challenging content. Okay, so I hope that helped you guys. Again, the buffs, I'm uh, sorry, the debuffs here, uh, for me, they won't matter who you choose because eventually you will have to click on them if you intend to go upward. So it's more or less uh, your best decision depending on your team and how you're going to play each stage and also on the debuffs that you're going to be putting as a challenge to that stage. So hopefully, guys, this helped you in some shape or form. Um, comment down if you like this content and also comment down on what you think of the rewards for this content. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.